Tammy McDonald is the founder of Brookstone Wealth Management, a woman-led financial planning and wealth management firm located in Columbus, Georgia. Tammy is a certified financial planner practitioner with over three decades of financial and investment experience. Welcome, Tammy. It's good to be here. Thank you. So let's talk about retirement. Everybody's favorite subject. Yes. How does somebody know when they are ready to retire, when, when they have enough money accumulated? Well, it all starts with planning. They've got to have a pre-plan. They've got to understand what they're trying to accomplish and when they're trying to accomplish it and then how they're going to get there. You know, they've got to understand what assets they've already got on hand. They've got to understand what income they'll have coming in. And the big thing, David, they've got to understand their expenses and where their expenses are today. That's a big issue with so many people is that they want to retire. They've saved all this money, but yet they've got this debt sitting over here as well. Mm. So they've got to get their arms around that. Okay. So... The viewers are hearing, there's some math here, Tammy. Is it yeah. hard math? Is this, it's, um, what's involved with doing these calculations? Is it basically projecting out, looking at where things are going to be in the future? Is it How, how, does the, how do the numbers work? That's right, what people want to understand. Right, yes, yes. Well, I kind of look at it a little bit differently. Okay. I look at it as a required rate of return. I look at okay. it as, okay, you've got this income that will be coming in from whatever source, whether it's Social Security, pension, working in retirement, whatever the case may be. Okay. These are our expenses that we've got coming out. And what I've found in doing this for over three decades is that people exchange one expense for another. They tend to keep spending about the same amount they've been spending. Okay. You know. So they shouldn't necessarily count on some sort of reduction that you'll only spend 60% of your pre-retirement expenses. That's not true. It's not true for everyone. Right. I mean, it is true for some, you know, and, and it's amazing whenever you go through a financial plan, we do an interactive with, with them to show if they reduce their expenses by $500 a month, what a difference that'll make for the future. So then you have to, for that pre-planning, you've got to start working towards how can I reduce those expenses by 500 a month? So once you've done that, are there certain strategies that you need to implement or follow to have the plan work for the person? Sure. Sure. Yes. I mean, you've, you've got to establish an emergency fund. I, I use cash as an asset class. I think it's very important to use cash as an asset class um, because you've got to have something to pull from no matter what the markets are doing. The markets go up, the markets go down, yeah. you know, and so you've got to have something. You don't want to have a huge emergency and then have to pull from from an investment that's declined in value as well. So then you're paying twice as much for that emergency um, because you're taking funds that have decreased in value. So a lot of people don't understand that. That's very good. I'm a big fan of the emergency fund as well. Um, how about a change of mindset? I mean, do people need to kind of rethink how they think about their money when they enter retirement? Well, sure they do. Sure they do. While you're working and you're accumulating those dollars, you can be a little bit more... Um, aggressive, not quite as conservative. So, so you've got to have a mindset around what do I need these dollars to do for me and what's the best way for me to allocate those dollars to accomplish that goal. Okay. So as you're doing that, um, how does that play into creating a plan for paying yourself in an, an efficient way right. to not you know, pay any more taxes than you have to or expenses or anything like that? Right. Yeah. Um, you know, you've, you've got different Pockets of money is what I kind of look at it. Buckets, we can look at it. Buckets or pockets, whichever way you Whenever's want. Whatever's the biggest thing. That's whatever, what I whatever want. the biggest thing. There okay. you go. There okay. you go. Um, but but those different pockets can be dipped into at different times, depending on what's going on with the markets, what's going on in the political arena with taxes. Um, you know, what's the most efficient way? What's going on with the IRS? What kind of rules have changed? Mm. Um, so you know, you 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 don't want to pull from tax-free dollars when you could be pulling from after-tax dollars. Um, so there's a, there's, a, there's a strategy to all of that. And, it, and, it, and it's different for each person, and it's different for each time period. So personal financial planning is personal. It is personal. <laughs> Absolutely. And so as part of doing that, you know, the, the, the big question, of course, everybody wants to have an answer to when they are looking at retirement is, well, I want to, that all sounds good. I like everything you're telling me, but I need to make sure I'm not going to run out. Right. How do we help people feel comfortable when they retire that they know that they can rely on this money coming in, that right. the, the gap that you were talking about, right. the, the, the difference between their other income and their expenses? Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, again, you know, just telling a, a personal story, you know, um, whenever we run our financial plan, you, when, you, when you look at the income coming in, you look at your expenses going out, you look at your assets that you have to, to make, make up that difference. And if you see that that required rate of return, again, is 9%, mm. Mm, we've got a problem. We need to wait, uh, maybe work a few more years reduce our expenses. Um, We've not accumulated enough to be able to fill that gap without taking too much risk. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's exactly right. But on the flip side of that, if, some, if someone's required rate of return is zero or 2% right. or 3% or 4%, then it's a lot more doable. Then you just go in and, and you look at, um, I look at punching holes in the plan, the what ifs yeah. of what if you got sick? What if your spouse died early? You know, um, to make sure that we're not going to outlive our, our money. And you look at things such as long-term care. You um, you know, there, there's, there's other ways that you can make sure. I kind of look at it as different pies. I have my asset pie and then I have my my emergency pie, and that could be emergency, could be risk of long-term care, risk of a spouse passing away early, and how have we accommodated for, for those unknown emergencies so that we can kind of have our other pie over here to live off of, mm -hmm. to retire, to travel, to spend time with the grandkids, whatever it is that, that gives you peace of mind. You said something that a lot of people don't really want to hear and they need to hear, Tammy, and that is that when you do financial planning uh, with a professional, mm -hmm. they can actually tell you if you've accumulated enough. That's right. And we might say to you, you need to work a little longer, you know, and, and you and I both know how huge the benefit is of, say, working two more years right. before retiring. Right. And so... That's a very powerful concept, not popular necessarily, but that's what a financial planner can do. That's where that independent person can really help you make some good decisions. Yes, yes. It's it's not always an easy conversation, but right. we're not doing our job, right. David, you know, unless unless we're telling the truth. And sometimes the truth is hard to hear and it's yeah. hard to say, but it's... Um, well, that's why we're their advocates. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Very yes. good. Yes. Tammy McDonald, thank you very much. Thank you, David.